On Saturday, folks, Donald Trump was in Texas where he performed his speech in front of thousands of NRA members who were gathered there. And the Daily Beast had this to say about it. They summed it up this way. He hailed the reversal of Roe versus Wade as an amazing thing. He compared himself to Al Capone once again. And he insisted, this is something new, that genius runs in his bloodline. And then there was this glitch at the end of it. You know, he has this melodramatic music at the very end, and he sort of glitched for about 30 seconds and just just kind of froze. So we're not sure what that was about, but I've got some clips that I want to show you here, folks. But firstly, um, you know, I'm analyzing why he talked about RFK so much. And the only reason why he's talking about RFK is because RFK is evidently cutting into his bandwidth as far as voting voters are concerned they're they're taking some of his votes and it's getting under his skin to the point where he said this RFK Jr I call him Jr Of course you do and By the way he's radical left <laughs> don't think about it don't waste your vote He's not We need a conservative person with common sense this guy is radical left who destroyed New York they're taking down all of the energy components we have the highest and all of new england actually he's a disaster he's radical left rfk jr is radical left god how many times you're going to say it it's driving me crazy up here this fly is brutal i don't like flies they like you so the the whole thing with rfk i mean how many times do you think he said radical left radical left trying to imprint that into the voters' minds. Um, He's on the defensive here, and I can't quite figure it out why he's on the defensive with RFK, but he is. And then after the flies were attacking him and swarming him and all all over the place, he went on to claim this, folks. Before I introduce him, I just want to say, when he was the doctor at the White House, they asked him, who's healthier? Who's a better physical specimen? Is it Trump? Or is it Obama? And he's not even close. It's Donald Trump. Not even close. Oh, God. So he's talking about it's 5 o'clock somewhere, Dr. Ronnie Jackson, that uh, basically, in my opinion, just, you know, said Trump was in the best of health. Of course he did. Of course he would. But, you know, the flies don't lie, folks. There's not. There's something not quite right there. The flies are not lying. And then he went on to say this. So he's trying to elevate himself above Abraham Lincoln? I mean, don't even try, Donald Trump, really. I, I mean, Abraham, I, did I hear this right? Let's, let's play the clip. This country, then President Donald J. Trump, there's been nobody, not even close. And honestly, there's been no president since Abraham Lincoln and perhaps in a certain way, including Abraham Lincoln, but there's been no president since Abraham Lincoln that has done more for the black individual in this country than President Donald J. Trump. There's been nobody, not even close. Oh God. So first off, who talks like that? Um, there's no one, and he, he's talking, you know, standing there that he couldn't say there's nobody that's done more for the black person than me. But no, he says Donald J. Trump. I mean, there's something not quite right there, folks. And I I just like to know, and I tried to think of something, what what has he done for the black people? I mean, uh, anything. I'll take anything at this stage. I mean, it's just, there's just nothing there. And the whole thing about him trying to elevate himself above Abraham Lincoln, folks. And and the thing about this is, I think that the man is desperate for a legacy. Donald Trump is desperate for a legacy. And in proving this point, he then pivoted to a losing strategy that that has been a losing strategy as far as voting as voters are concerned. This whole abortion, um, you know, attack on abortion that Republicans have been engaged in. It's been a losing strategy for them at the ballot box. And I think that he sees overturning Roe versus Wade as his legacy. 
And to be honest with you folks, I really think that he's more concerned about the legacy than the reality of what he does. He doesn't care about the fact that, you know, he's just denied millions of women, you know, the, the chance to choose for themselves. What's more important to him is the legacy of what he did. And to prove that, I want you to listen to this. He's worried that if Democrats continue to be in office, that they will pass a federal law in favor of some some measure of abortion, right? Which which we should do, obviously. If we could do it, that would be fantastic. But in that whole event, he's more concerned about his legacy, folks. Have a listen. That's the way it should be, and that's the way people have wanted it to be for many, many decades. If the radical Democrat extremists get their way, they will have a federal law for abortion. If they get their way, they will have a federal law for abortion. So it's the legacy, I think, that Donald Trump is more concerned about. Uh, he doesn't care, you know, squat about women's rights. I mean, that, that means nothing to him. I think that it's the legacy with this man. And it, and it just fits into the narcissism you know, the, the narcissistic tendencies that he has. And then I have to play this for you too, folks. So the, the next clip is Ron Filipkowski, and he raises a good point here. I'm just going to let, let him rip on this for a second. Where in the hell is Melania? The, the last time Melania and Trump were together was last Friday at Barron's graduation. And of course she's going to be there, and Donald Trump made a big point you know, in the hush money trial that he had to be there, so he ended up there. But beyond that, Melania has sort of left him high and dry, and the media sort of let this go. Have a listen to this. He's playing, that's right. right. There are two reasons why I won't leave the Melania story alone and mm -hmm. why I keep beating it over and over again. Number one, it annoys Trump and it annoys Trump supporters. When you point out that Melania is nowhere to be found, that this marriage is a sham, it's a fake marriage, there's no love between them, it aggravates them because they truly believe that they have this wonderful, warm relationship when we know that this is a lie and it's all made up. And so that's one reason why I continue Sad. to push it. The other reason is Trump continues to lie. Yeah. The night before this, the night before Mother's Day, he was at a rally and he said, I'm looking forward to Mother's Day. Shout out to my beloved wife, Melania. I'll be home soon, honey, is what he said yeah, to the I rally know. crowd. <laughs> and I can't wait to see you. And then he gets back, no Melania, nowhere to be found. So he continues to lie at his rallies. He continues to say, Melania is going to be on the campaign trail with me any day now. She'll be out here very soon, mm. which we know she's never going to well, do that. No, never. It's a she, lie. She's expensive. Right. So we have to, I just have to keep hammering this because regular media will not cover the Melania story. They won't even talk about her. So I, I'm going to do it. And Ron, don't forget this. I mean, the hush money trial, um, and I said this in one of my podcasts, that he can't even admit the man can't even admit that he had uh, this 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 fling, this tryst with a porn star. I mean, he can't even admit it. It's almost as if she has to walk around believing that, and I don't think she does, to be honest with you, folks. And it's it, it's just damaging. I mean, it's not a good relationship, folks. Um, and then there's this whole thing. Let's take a look at this. So all of a sudden, Donald Trump is insisting that Joe Biden have a drug test before the debate. Seriously. And this is just another way of Donald Trump saying, get me out of this debate. You know what? By insisting that Joe Biden have a drug test. That's what it's all about. Is Donald Trump is looking for the exit already. Here's what he said. And I'm gonna I'm gonna demand a drug test here, by the way. I am. No, I really am. <laughs> of course you would. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. And, and it's just a way of him getting out of another debate. Just wait and see, folks. He's going to make a big stinking deal out of it, and it's just going to be his exit stage left strategy. So 
here's the glitch and it just went like this he just kind of froze in the history of the world oh the music cue the music there's the freeze and it just went on like this folks it just went on and on he's just frozen there you know the music just played I, I don't get it I really don't there's something not right here look uh, what happened and then he continued oh, God I, I folks I don't even know what to say and response to that it's just it's gone off the rails the whole thing about his legacy he's worried about rfk um he, he's just he's just nervous it, it's more about him than it is the country folks sad to say till next time